You're watching KOAT Action 7 News. The trial for Fabian Gonzalez is expected to start tomorrow. He is facing charges in connection to the death of Victoria Martins. Here's Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli. Shelly and Doug Gonzalez is facing a number of charges, including tampering with evidence, reckless abuse of a child, and conspiracy to commit tampering with evidence. Now, this case has been in the public eye since Martins was killed, and our legal expert says that could potentially pose some problems. The trial for Fabian Gonzalez is expected to start tomorrow, and because the case is high profile, it may be hard finding jurors. It's gonna be, can they sit a jury? Can they get impartial jurors in there, jurors and alternates? Uh, enough people to let the trial go forward. That's going to be the first test. After that, um, you know, who knows what can come up in the middle of a trial. When the trial starts, Day lays out what he believes the defense will argue. The Fabian Gonzalez the defense team is going to be pointing the fingers everywhere else except at him. They're going to be saying that um, Jessica Kelly and, and Victoria's mother, Michelle, have um, uh, made deals with the prosecution. And the defense is going to be saying, to the jurors, you know, pay attention to these deals because their testimony has been bought and paid for. Michelle Martin has not been sentenced yet, even though she pled guilty. Day explains why they are waiting until after the trial to sentence her. It's one of the most obvious is the prosecution's waiting to make sure she's going to testify the way she told them she was going to testify, because if she does that, then she gets the benefit of the deal she made. If she goes sideways in trial for some reason, Prosecution can say, up, oh, our deal's off. Because the case has gotten a lot of attention and so much information is available online, Day says that this will pose further challenges as well. There are oftentimes when things occur, jurors look at, uh, at material they're not supposed to look at, they do their own research. That does happen in trials. The, the judge is going to have some alternate jurors just in case something does happen. But there are a number of things that can be, that are sort of pitfalls that could lead to a mistrial. It's not uncommon in a, in a high profile trial for something to happen. Once the trial starts, it's expected to last three weeks. I'm John Carnelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. This trial has been delayed multiple times, most recently because of COVID.